Um, the fourth quarter, Bobby has four threes. He also has, I think, a block on shooter on the switch. Just kind of what do you see from Bobby in the fourth quarter to kind of help bring that one home? Um, incredible. Um, the four threes are amazing. Huh? When you're able to score uh, points like that in the fourth quarter, down the stretch, especially in the close game, um, it's incredible. But uh, for me, every time that we were switching, because we were switching down the stretch one through five, and he was on the ball, he just made it tough. He made it tough on guys, and that's what makes it even more incredible. That's what I see. You know, uh, before I felt like they were able to move freely, get to their spots in the mid range for the floater or you know, play with the ball, it should have three. But down the stretch, it wasn't only the shots we made, we were able to defend them. And uh, the guy that they were like picking on was Bobby, and it did not work today. It did not work, so I'm, I'm extremely proud of him. And, uh, you know, uh, and the shots that he made, that's also great, but I care about his defense. Uh, let's stick with the defense. Uh, you guys closed with Andre. Andre hasn't closed a lot of games. Just what did you feel like? It felt like energy, part of that energy. was slowing down Struder. Yeah, yeah, energy, energy. I feel like uh, Struder was able to get to his spots. Uh, Andre was just looking in touch. He was picking him up full court. He was fighting over the screens a lot. Uh, he was contesting shot. He was being physical with him. Uh, obviously, Dan Struder is a great player, and uh, he's going to get to his spots. He's going to get what he wants. but. At the end of the day, you just got to make it as tough as possible. And I think RJ was one of those guys that was making it tough for him. At times, GT also did make it tough for him. But um, you got to go with your safe bet, which is under. Um, I was kind of joking with Bobby. It feels like as soon as Chris gets on the floor, all of a sudden the passing starts to happen a little bit more. The extra passes start to happen. More people are in the right spots. Like, is that just kind of what he, he can do to a team at this point? Yeah, he's Whether old. <laughs> He's just old. He got to move the ball. <laughs> like, did you see? Did you saw the um, transition three that he made? How oh, it was? Yeah. It was low. He still got it off though. He made it too. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yes, Chris, yes, vintage, vintage. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, he's. It's it's always great to have him. He, you know, he's uh, one of those players that uh, plays the right way. He's gonna move the ball, get to everybody, put everybody in the right spot. He's gonna get to the right spot too. Today he, he called the play, the out of bounds play that we, we had one second left. He called the play that we, we ran two years ago. Nobody knew the play. Nobody, I, I remember the play because he always ran it for me. Uh, so he's so smart. And it's always good to have him out there with us. Your bench had 60 points tonight. Can you talk about how deep you guys are right now? Ooh, the bench? 60. That's incredible. That's incredible. We need our bench to be active. We need our, our bench to bring energy. We need our bench to be able to defend. We need our bench to be able to make right plays offensively and score the ball. Uh, you know, sometimes it's going to be, you know, it's going to be times that me, Dane, Chris, Brooke are going to carry like a heavy load. But I think we are more complete. We are uh, we play more balanced basketball when everybody's able to contribute. When our bench, when AJ is coming in and knocking down shot, GT also is aggressive. Bobby is extremely aggressive. You know, uh, I think that's where we are at our best, and we are very hard to beat. So we just gotta, get, you know, keep on going on this pace. Hopefully, you know, the bench can be always uh, as good as they was tonight. What's it gonna take for your team to win that NBA Cup game on Tuesday and go to Vegas? Score more baskets than the other team. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're an incredible team. Orlando plays very well right now, and uh, we gotta play good basketball. We gotta you know, have like a, a, a great collective uh, effort as a team. You know, um, we have to go there, we gotta defend because they, they're extremely aggressive right now. Uh, if we don't defend, it's not gonna be easy night for us. So we gotta defend first, and then we gotta play together in the other end. No hero ball, no nothing. We gotta play good team basketball for 48 minutes. Hopefully, we can put ourselves in the position to win. Can you just speak to the home court advantage that you have on Tuesday and how much the crowd's gonna help you guys? For sure, we have uh, probably arguably the best crowd um, in the league when they get into it. Like when our crowd is loud and they're into the game and we give them everything that we have, we have one of the best uh, crowds in the league, in my opinion. Giannis, maybe just a little bigger picture. Just What do you think over the last month has allowed you guys to turn things around the way you have? Uh, I think we're just playing better. Uh, we figured out ways to close games. Um, there's no, I think starting the season, we just thought that the team just going 
you know, allow us to just come in here and uh, win games. And uh, that wasn't the case. We have to play good best. We have to go out there and, you know, kind of demand, you know, respect, you know, put ourselves in a position to win. Uh, there's going to be times that we're going to have up and, uh, ups and downs. Uh, but uh, all the games that we've played is pretty much they've been they've been close. Like we play a lot of close games, and uh, we put ourselves majority of the time as, ourselves in position to win games. You know, but uh, uh, we are competing. The team, like the mindset that we have every single day, we go out there and compete. Like the game against Boston that we played two days ago, we compete our butt off, and we made uh, in the last four uh, minutes we didn't play. Good team basketball. A lot of there was a lot of I think uh, how you call it like hero ball mm -hmm. moments. And it wasn't able to win the game. You know today there was no hero ball. The ball was moving. Every shot that Bobby or Chris had was either from a, a defensive play, right, or it was from a swing, 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 or it was from a double team, you know, pass. Uh, uh, so that's more of a team basketball, and I feel like the, we had better energy. We have better energy when we play that way. We have better chance to win games when we play that way. Uh, last time you guys were here, um, you lose third game of the year. It was yes. a Sunday afternoon game, sleepy start, and you guys kind of fell behind. As it was happening again tonight, kind of what was going through your head? You guys go down by 10 in the third quarter. Is it like the thought of like, this is not happening again? Like, uh, how do you kind of try to flip it? I'll say, like when you go down 10 and things don't go your way and blah, blah, sometimes you put your head down and stuff. Um, sometimes you just keep playing and you hope like uh, the outcome is better. But like I think there was a time that Coach uh, Doug said, like sometimes you got to get it off the mat, mud, you know, uh, and I just kept telling myself that throughout the whole game and I just keep on going to every team and like defense, come on, do. And I feel like he just carried over. You know, like everybody had that mindset of like, okay, it's not going to be pretty. We just got to fight through it. Like we're not going to let ourselves like leave here without a win. Uh, and man, it carried over throughout the whole team. And you know, I give credit to Coach Doug for saying that, but he probably did not know that I took that and I kept telling everybody on the court. Uh, um, and there's going to be games that you have to do that. And we did it tonight, and sometimes you face adversity, and it's the way you respond. We responded tonight. And I'm very proud of the team. Hopefully, we play on Tuesday, right? Hopefully, we can uh, have a good game on Tuesday.